the US and Germany are sending 33,000 Atirian Skynode AI drone kits to Ukraine. US German defense tech firm Atirian announced it's shipping 33,000 next gen AI drone guidance kits called Skynode to Ukraine by the year's end. The deal, worth nearly $50 million and funded by the Pentagon, will see the largest single injection of battlefield AI into Ukraine's drone arsenal since Russia's full-scale invasion. And if you're wondering what all the fuss is about, here's the short version. Skynode is an integrated AI guidance module, a miniature ruggedized computer with advanced vision, navigation, and communications packed into a form factor barely larger than a deck of cards. It's powered by Autirian's proprietary software and comes equipped with a camera and a secure radio, transforming even hobbyist FPV drones into semi-autonomous jam-resistant strike platforms. Hey friends, Wes here, multi-branch veteran and big supporter of compressing the kill chain. And if you've seen my recent video on AI and war, then you'll realize how big of a deal this is. At its core, it's an AI-enabled open architecture autopilot that turns a dumb drone into a battlefield predator. You get onboard computer vision, real-time navigation, autonomous mission planning, and edge processing power that would make your average 2010 laptop blush. For Ukraine, that's a battlefield advantage. Skynode means drones can identify targets, adjust flight paths, and most critically, keep fighting when GPS is jammed or comms go dark with no human input. In a theater crawling with Russian electronic warfare, that's a survival trait. The drone's onboard AI scans for tanks, artillery, or troop concentrations using optical and thermal cameras. No signal? No problem. The drone recognizes its target, calculates the best attack angle, and executes the mission, even if Moscow's best EW guys are furiously spinning their dials. The result is a Russian commander's worst day, delivered autonomously. In fact, the hardest part of autonomous warfare will be keeping track of what, when, and where the machines kill. Ideally, there will be some kind of observation drone or system with the ability to keep track of what the autonomous drones are striking. Otherwise, there's a risk of inaccurate enemy troop strength estimates and a number of other intelligence issues. But Ontarion software isn't picky about airframes, which means Ukraine can turn anything from homebrew FPV bombers to upcycled Chinese drones into coordinated semi-autonomous wolf packs. Need a formation to hunt mobile S-300 launchers or sneak through air defenses under cover of darkness? Skynode says, hold my beer. And when one drone in a group gets shredded by shrapnel or loses contact, the rest don't spiral out of control. They reroute, they update the plan, and they keep hunting. This is the kind of edge computing, AI-driven resilience that eats up Russian fixed-position SAMs and burns a hole in Moscow's deep strike options. So let's get technical just for a second, because the AI Guidance Kit moniker doesn't do this thing justice. Skynode is a high-end AI module built specifically for drones, designed to process video feeds, identify targets, and execute autonomous navigation. All on the edge on the drone without needing a constant uplink to headquarters. But how does it compare to the NVIDIA Jetson Orin, the industry's reigning heavyweight for edge AI? Well, a crashed Russian Shahi drone was recently discovered with a Jetson Orin AI module, which, as you might imagine, is bad news. The Jetson Orin is a beast, 200 trillion operations per second with beefy power draw and robust thermal management. That's fantastic if you're running a self-driving car. But try hanging that off of a $500 FPV drone meant for a one-way trip into a Russian trench. Eh. In other words, NVIDIA's Jetson Orin is overkill for a kamikaze drone. Skynode, on the other hand, is optimized for battlefield work. Low weight, low power consumption, rapid boot times, and enough processing muscle to run advanced vision algorithms without melting itself into a puddle. Think of it as the difference between a sports car and a dirt bike. You want the one that doesn't get stuck in the mud, can be mass produced, and is cheap enough to lose by the thousand. Why the sudden surge in autonomy? 
because Russia has gone all in on Shahid drone saturation. Ukrainian air defenders now face attacks numbering up to a thousand drones daily, including decoys, strike drones, and swarms designed to overwhelm defenses. To survive, Ukraine needs quantity, quality, and brains in the sky. That's where Skynode comes in. Skynode is plug and play. It retrofits into off-the-shelf FPV drones in Ukraine's rapidly expanding domestic drone lines. Forget about learning a new operating system or coding custom firmware. Aterion software runs right out of the box, bringing every $400 drone into the age of edge computing. For instance, using an off-the-shelf AI module like the Orin, Ukraine would have to train the model on thousands of pictures and videos of the target, miniaturize the AI model so it fits on a small drone-sized edge AI card, and then incorporate the Orin physically into the drone. The Skynode is pre-programmed, trained, and compressed at the factory, so Ukraine will simply need to unbox it, run a systems check, and incorporate it into the drone's flight controls. And they're receiving 33,000 of these modules. Now, the company claims that it isn't trying to replace Ukraine's thriving homegrown drone industry. Instead, Aterion's focus is on software-defined warfare, providing capabilities like swarming and visual target lock that local manufacturers haven't scaled up yet. So there's more brewing in this deal than just hardware. According to reports, the Pentagon's contract is only the start, a separate, much larger mega deal for U.S.-Ukrainian drone co-production is in the pipeline, hinting at an even deeper tech transfer down the line. Now, Aterian is also eyeing software agreements with Germany and other major European defense players, seeking to cement its place as the backbone of NATO's next-gen drone fleets. With 33,000 AI guidance kits landing by December, Ukraine could soon field the world's largest fleet of semi-autonomous strike drones, each capable of shrugging off jamming, collaborating with its wingmen, and nailing a moving target from a kilometer out. In this sense, Russian soldiers will be the first victims on the planet of coordinated autonomous warfare. As I mentioned, Russia is also dipping its toes in the autonomous drone game as well by incorporating an NVIDIA Jetson Orin AI module into a new Shahid drone. That Shahid was shot down. That's how we know about the Jetson Orin module. But the fact that hundreds of Shahids have been shot down in recent weeks and only one was discovered with an AI module suggests that Russia may not yet possess the quantity of AI to make its own edge computing kamikaze drone force. But for now, Ukraine will remain the leader in autonomous drone guidance. Wait. Wes, you said this $50 million deal is funded by the Pentagon. Who's actually paying for this? Well, that's a fair question. The news wasn't clear as to whether this was a donation or Ukraine was purchasing. Based on all the publicly available info, the answer is a bit of both. But it's weighted heavily toward this is not a Red Cross-style donation. The procurement model for advanced tech like Aterion Skynode AI modules in Ukraine generally follows the now familiar hybrid path. Some state-backed assistance, but a lot of it comes out of Ukraine's own war budget or through special grants and third-party funders. In a handful of cases, Western governments like the US, the UK, some of the Nordics fund tech purchased for Ukraine through defense aid packages. Sometimes these are earmarked for dual use or non-lethal technology, but AI navigation, targeting, and flight control fall into a weird gray zone it's likely some of the new Skynode orders are run through Western procurement channels, especially when they're built into loitering munitions headed east. There are also some public-private partnerships in play. Tech NGOs and defense innovation funds, often based in the US or the UK or Switzerland, have bankrolled smaller orders or test batches to help Ukrainian drone units experiment before a full-scale state contract is signed. Anyways. When you see AI modules like Skynode showing up in Ukrainian strike drones or loitering munitions, assume someone paid a real invoice, either Kyiv with hard cash or a Western defense agency writing a check to Aterion on Ukraine's behalf. There are a few exceptions, some demo or test units, for example, but the vast majority are purchased, not gifted. And if someone claims otherwise, ask to see the customs paperwork. Okay, 
That's all for today, friends. Subscribing is the best way to keep our squad healthy. I'm a one-man show over here, and the filming is fun. But when I'm struggling through hour three of editing, and I still have two more videos to edit after this one, that's when I see my subscribers like you, and remember that it's all worth it. Besides, if my comrades in Ukraine can fight the Russian onslaught for over three years, then at least I can do is be mildly uncomfortable in front of DaVinci Resolve in Michigan. Anyways, hit subscribe and report for duty, and as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Crimea is Ukraine.